Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, uh, we're going to finally install this uh, CNC bed and also the spoil board system that I'm going to use for this uh, CNC build. So the spoil board or the MDF that's going to be used as the top of the whole uh, bed or table is uh, over there and the, uh, the uh, substrate for that one uh, because I'm going to use a system of T-Track but then I'm not using a, an aluminum T-Track so I'm just going to uh, make it in combination with the uh, 10mm or somewhat closer to half inch uh, marine plywood and also the MDF is going to be on top but then uh, for now uh, we're going to install this uh, 3 fourth marine plywood as the uh, basic uh, bedding or table for this whole CNC machine. So let's go! So by the way guys, uh, this particular uh, CNC machine which is uh, the main purpose of this one is to cut a whole sheet of plywood and then but then uh, the size of the table which is uh, the width is uh, 1.3 or 1.4 so something around that uh, dimension so that's why I cut uh, this uh, whole uh, sheet of plywood into half and then uh, move uh, the the half each half uh, both side uh, because uh, I'm looking at it uh, when I'm going to attach or uh, fix uh, the the actual material that I'm going to use for the whole cutting or the whole project if I have is uh, I'm going to fasten it or fix it into the corners yeah so that's why uh, I move the whole uh, substrate or the whole covering for the main table uh, outside so the, the main uh, 4 by 8 plywood is going to be around somewhere here so at the center of this whole CNC machine so that's why uh, you can see that there's a hole inside or the, at the center it's actually going to be covered by the main uh, spoil board so yeah so that's it and let's start installing this thing so now guys uh, what I'm going to use for this installation is just a tech, uh, screw so this one is a black screw uh, actually uh, we call this one gypsum screw so this one is a self tapping so I'm going to screw this one into a, a, a framing or a joist into the whole uh, bed so I'm going to use this uh, one and one half screw for metal. So I already uh, fix or uh, uh, adjust the, the placement of this uh, first one so I can uh, fasten this one uh, right now. So I'm just going to uh, a little bit force the screw down to be able for the uh, top be uh, flush uh, and uh, will not uh, be able to have any bump on top of this one. So let's go. So now uh, I'm going to do for the rest of this one and let's do a time lapse. So now guys, uh, we're ready to install the uh, the first uh, sets of 10mm uh, marine plywood. Uh, this is going to be the uh, the one uh, below the the main surfacing board or the uh, MDF. So I'm going to install this one right now. So first is I'm going to use this uh, brad nailer. So let's go. Yeah, so the first one I'm going to install is I'm just going to use this uh, uh, square that I have and make it uh, perpendicular 
to the rail so I'm going to use this rail as a reference and then after this one is I'm going to fix this particular plywood in here so but first I'm going to make sure that this one is in the center So for the spacing of this uh, bottom plywood, so I'm going to use this one as a spacer. So this particular plastic here is, uh, this is the one I'm going to use as a uh, T-nuts. So this one is threaded already, so I cut this one uh, using my uh, small or my the other sensei that, I'm ha that I have. So yeah, so this is the one that I'm going to use as a spacer. So this whole width of this particular T-nuts that I made. So this one is uh, based on a uh, system that uh, one other youtuber uh, uses so I'm just going to use uh, this system so this is his channel so you can uh, watch his uh, video if you want to learn more about this one but then uh, in his uh, design he uses a plywood as the t-track system uh, but then for this one uh, I'm just going to use uh, the MDF itself as the uh, the main uh, thing that uh, will hold these T-nuts so the pressure is going to go up but then uh, the, the MDF that I'm going to use is uh, 3 fourths or 18 mm so I think that's gonna hold uh, the, the whole uh, thing uh, when it's uh, cutting so yeah so now let's install these plywoods so let's go Uh, in today's video, I'm just going to clean everything. Uh, as you can see here, I already have my uh, wasteboard uh, installed. So, uh, I still have to clean and vacuum everything that uh, this uh, MDF uh, uh, is uh, producing. As you can see, I produce this a lot of uh, shavings from this MDF uh, by installing it and uh, counter sink or counter sunk the whole a screw that I've been using to install this particular uh, MDF. So now is uh, I'm going to clean this one and uh, the main purpose of this one is because uh, we're going to try everything so we're going to use the machine to flatten this MDF or this uh, spoil board that I have for this particular CNC machine. Yeah. 
So now guys, uh, we're already done cleaning this uh, tabletop. So the next thing is uh, flattening this uh, spoil board. So I'm going to go into my computer and uh, program this uh, whole, uh, what you call this, uh, CNC program for this uh, flattening. So let's go. Thank <laughs> you. 